Hey guys, what's up? My name is Pete Breaker and welcome to my OBS Studio tutorial series. Over the course of the next few videos, I'd like to explain to you how to use OBS Studio. And because this is such a huge program and because there are so many aspects that you have to take into account when you're trying to get good with OBS Studio, I'd like to split this video up into a few parts. So in today's first part, I'd like to walk you through the basics of using OBS Studio. So how to install it, how to run the 64-bit version, uh, how to use scenes, sources, uh, but then even more advanced topics such as how to use the studio mode, how to properly set up your audio, um, how to use new things that have been introduced with OBS 21.0.1, uh, such as the multi-view feature. Then in a second video, I'd like to talk about what probably most of you are interested in, which is how to actually find the best possible bit rates depending on your upload speed. Then in a third video we're going to talk about all the specialized sources, so how to set up an overlay, how to set up a follow alert, how to have kind of chat boxes appearing, and finally a guide on OBS Studio would not be complete without a discussion of the best possible recording settings using OBS Studio. But now let's jump right into the basics. So to download OBS simply head over to obsproject.com choose the operating system that you're using and download the installer. Now once this is done, you want to execute the installer and install OBS Studio. Now after having installed OBS Studio, you will have a shortcut on your desktop, but unfortunately this is going to be the shortcut for the 32-bit version of OBS Studio and I always recommend you to use the 64-bit version as just the live streams are overall much more smooth and just much more stable with the 64-bit version. So where can you find the 64-bit version? Head over to your computer, click on your local C drive, click on Program Files x86, look for OBS Studio, click on Bin, and here you'll find the 64-bit version of OBS Studio. Press Alt on your keyboard and drag this onto your desktop to get a shortcut for the OBS 64-bit version. And a final tip that I can give you is always execute OBS Studio as administrator. This is very important because some sources such as the uh, game capture sometimes do not work and only display you a black screen if you're not running OBS Studio as administrator. Alright, so the first time you're running OBS Studio it's probably gonna look something like this. So as you can see, we don't have many things going on yet. Let's fill in these scenes and sources. So how this basically works is you have some scenes. You can think of these uh, really as different parts of your live stream. So for example, we have a pre live stream scene. We're going to have one that we're going to call intermission. We'll have one that we'll call life and maybe one break. So then we can add different sources to our scenes. For example, I'm gonna add a webcam as a video capture device, which is gonna put default settings here. You can uh, drag your sources around such as this, and you can enlarge them such as that. Right click on them, uh, transform, and then reset transform to get them back into their original size. You can add more sources such as a display capture, for example. So this will just add uh, the display. We're gonna put the webcam on top, obviously. This is a bit useless now, but you get the drill. Um, usually if you'd like to add a game that you probably wanna add in life, you add a game capture and you can capture any full screen application. Uh, you can decide if you want to capture the cursor, um, if you want to have some transparency going on in there. If you want to add the same webcam once again, you can simply click on existing and there you already have your webcam, so you don't have to add the webcam again and again. So in realizing that explaining all of these basics uh, take a lot more time than I have initially anticipated, I'd like to finish this video right here and then proceed in the next video on how to use the mixer, the studio mode and the new multi-view feature. But if you have any questions regarding how to set up source and scenes, and maybe if you have any questions regarding special sources, um, such as the uh, window capture or the browser source, which is uh, very handy if you wanna have kind of a website uh, being displayed, then don't hesitate to leave these questions down below. But with that, I'd like to thank you for watching, have a wonderful day, 
and I'll catch you guys in the next video.